What is up guys and girls, Hurricane Liz here, back for another, it's been a while since I've done a keyword video. And in this video, I'm gonna review the current keywords that are hot for November. And I think there's a lot of surprises on there. You guys are gonna be surprised at what people are stuffing and uh, you're gonna be shocked. So I was shocked by going through this list of what's hot right now in November. These are great keywords that you wanna make sure you have not only on your listings, but your backends. Hopefully you're not getting those stuffed you dirty bastards, and a lot more. So we're gonna have a lot of fun on this video. You're gonna learn a couple things and a couple, you're gonna learn a couple things that are red hot right now. So I'm super fired up for this video. I hope you are. Let's do this. All right, so what's hot in November? And technically, this is the first week in November. We don't want to look at the last month because if we look at last month, we're going to get this mixed up a lot with Halloween. So we kind of already went over the Halloween terms that were hot. So what is hot and what is going to trend in November? Here's the biggest thing that we have to take note of, that Christmas decorations and Christmas tree have overtaken iPhone. What does that mean? I mean, that just means that we're going to have a crazy Christmas, crazy Christmas from the sense of people are already buying Christmas decorations, Christmas trees. Everybody's ready to get to buying, to gifting, to doing all the shit that people do on Christmas. So that's the most exciting thing. Being a seller, you can tell it in my voice at how pumped I am for this simple fact. What else is going on? Uh, Women's Fall Fashion 2022, which is a very broad iPhone 14. But let's take a look and see if we can see anything that pops up that would help our books, our t-shirts, or anything like that. Um, Thanksgiving is another word that is popping up, as are Crocs and um, Christmas gifts. So that's a great gift one. I'll probably do a gifting keyword one. I know you guys do love those. Um, but you know, I, that also brings me to a question. Um, who would be interested in knowing the technique that it took to get your competitors back in keywords? If you're interested in knowing that entire process, let me know below. I'm thinking of, of selling that, making that available for a small fee that would help you be able to kind of game the entire system of coming up with keywords for your own listings by being able to tell what your competitors' keywords are. That would make it much faster for you. Uh, so let me know if you're interested below. Just put yes in the comments, interested, and then I'll start working on that if that's the case. Uh, Christmas lights, Christmas decor, lingerie. It would especially become very convenient if you notice that somebody's using a lot of gift keywords because then you could use it to get those. That could be from the sense of gifting keywords for that you see in other people's physical products because then you can use those and put those, apply them to your particular products as well, which means your t-shirts, your books, all that crap. Uh, and I notice I say all that crap. Black Friday deals 2022, Christmas decorations, indoor Christmas, uh, women's sweaters, gifts for women. There's another one that I was talking about. So that's always something to consider is all the gifting keywords. Those always do well. Here's a general one for people that sell t-shirts or hoodies. Hoodies for men, uh, which shows that people are already buying winter stuff. And that's kind of important. Family Christmas PJs matching sets. Still Halloween decorations up there. They're still selling really well. Ugly Christmas sweater for women. You can always do this effect on your t-shirts, on your hoodies, on things like that. Even on your books, your notebooks, diaries, all that. You can do this ugly theme and that will always work. Grinch Christmas decorations popping up. Uh, Christmas garland and I'm going to try to go slow through here. <clears throat> but I have a feeling we're going to see so many things that um, is going to fill up the video pretty quick. Stocking stuffers for men. This is great because these are the kind of things that you can put in men's stocking stuffers. It could be the kind of books or journals that were created with the sexy women pictures on the outside. And then on the inside, all it is is freaking line paper. That would drive a dude nuts, but also a dude with a good sense of humor will enjoy that. It's a good prank dress. Prank, not dress. I'm looking at sweater dress. It's a good prank keyword. Prank gift is what I meant. Um, Thanksgiving shirts for women. This is great if you have Thanksgiving shirts. It's a, a little bit more general, but it still makes sense from for them. Uh, if we keep going here, we've got Christmas pajamas, uh, women's tops, fidget toys, makeup organizer, workout sets. I mean, not stocking stuffers for women. So for some weird reason, the ones for men trended more, and that could potentially be because women are the primary shopper on Amazon. Men aren't shopping as much as women are. And so that makes perfect sense. Here's birthday gifts for women. So there's still a lot of birthdays happening in the month of November. You would want to buy them a gift like you would want to buy me a gift. It's my birthday on Monday. 
but uh, I'm not asking for gifts. I'm just saying in general. Hoodies for women is another great one. Again, for men, it's the more dominant keyword. It could just be that men wear hoodies more often than women, but the stocking is stuffed more by the woman for her man than the other way around. So note to guys out there, if you got a girlfriend, get some stocking stuffers from her. She likes shit too, fellows. Come on. Uh, what else do we got here? Christmas gifts for women. <clears throat> Cargo pants obviously wouldn't work for us. Uh, let's see if I see anything else that pops up. Stocking stuffers for kids. That's a great one. I'm just going through these, so if you see any for yourself and I just happen to miss them just because I'm kind of going through them slowly. I tend to miss a lot. Uh, it's understandable. I cannot catch every single one, but I'd certainly try to. There's men's hoodies, again, that's just very general. I would probably never use that one unless I'm just absolutely destroying it for every other keyword that I use because that's just way too general. So the odds of us ranking for that are not going to be very well uh, that we do that. Christmas gifts for men, that pops up. Christmas sweaters for women. Again, a lot of women looking for Christmas sweaters. And again, going back to that ugly Christmas theme, that always works out real well. And you can certainly sell a lot, especially if you have a good imagination and you have some really ugly designs, which uh, usually doesn't work. This works perfect for those people that usually get told that is an ugly design. That will work well. Holiday, holiday gifts. 2022 it's a little too general but still interesting to point out just for the simple fact that people are buying gifts it's gifting season it's time to buy shit and it's time to rack up those credit cards and uh get stuck with the bill for the rest of the year that's uh, fantastic then new year's resolution will be pay off some of that debt we incur during the christmas holidays always fantastic this time of year so let's see what else we got fall clothes for women 2022 and uh, Queen Comforter said, Christmas dresses for women. Doesn't do anything for us. Uh, this is a Spanish keyword, which just goes to show if you didn't see my Spanish keyword video that I did maybe six months ago. Sweatshirt for women, that's a great one. That should go to show that that is an excellent keyword. Uh, Spanish words work well. I showed you how to translate the whole thing and get all those keywords in a snap of a finger. Here's men's gift for Christmas. That's another amazing gifting one that you can certainly use. And you know what we're going to do at the end of this video here? Um, I'm going to do it here in the next couple minutes. I'm going to keep going a little bit, but I'm going to just look up gift keywords right now. I mean, we'll do an entire video on gifting keywords. If you guys ask for it below in the comments, I'll be more than happy to do that. But you got to ask for it. So I got to get at least five asks before I do that. But I'm just going to go through a quick run through of gift ones. We certainly won't be able to get through all of them because I can tell you from experience, there's going to be a shit ton of them. But we're going to try and get through some of them and then... Here's women's sweaters, fall 2022. In the gifting keyword itself, here's gifts for dad. What I'll do is I'll just cover the entire video. It'll be nothing but gifting keywords. So it'll be me going through it like this so that you're going to get a decent amount of them. Here's ugly Christmas sweater. That is certainly up there at the top. That always works out real well. Uh, as I said before, that is something that people have entire parties based around ugly Christmas sweaters. So that shit works real well, people. I'm telling you. Um, what else do we have here? We've got leather pants. We can't sell that corsets. We can't sell that and we can't at least sell that through merch. We can't do that through merch, but we can do it through other means when we do get started with our own private label products. That works out very well. Uh, let's see my Amazon smile, which is, I have no idea what that means, but there's a lot of interesting thing. Matching pajamas for couples. That's kind of an interesting thing that is trending. Here's again, uh, this is a, elegant dresses for women for for a party it's interesting to see some of these spanish words that actually pop up on here it's kind of funny in a sense because you can never tell what people are searching for so it looks like we got caught here at number 700 so what i'm going to go in and do is i'm going to go into the next set of keywords uh we're going to look at the gifting words here for another couple minutes and then we will call it a video here's christmas shirts for women that that's pretty good. I'm, I'm going to take this to 800 and here's men's stocking stuffers. And then we'll call it a video after we look at some gifting keywords, Christmas stocking stuffers. There's another good 
stocking stuffer one, which again goes to show that people are full effect buying these stocking stuffers. Particularly, we thought that these were only for kids, but on this countdown, what we've seen thus far is that they're for men, for women, and for kids. Here's graphic tees for women. I'm surprised that we haven't seen one for dogs yet. Like literally people usually buy their dogs all the same shit that they buy kids, all the same shit that they buy girlfriends, boyfriends, lovers, mistress, any one of those people, they're buying for their dogs. So that's something to point out here that I just saw as I was combing this, right? Let's look at gifts. Let's just look at gift. And on the gifting one, we'll look gifts, plural. So 8,400 with just gift. Let's look at gifts itself. And 9,600. I mean, that's a lot of keywords, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at, we'll go ahead and take a look at the gift for this particular video. And then when we do the second video, we'll do gifts, plural. And um, we could also, interestingly enough, let's look at stocking and see what pops up. Or stuffer. Let's see what happens with stuffer. This is 1,200 with stuffer, with, with stocking. Let's look at stuffer. And then we'll look at stuffers. Stuffer has 87. Stuffers has 467. So look, let's look at stuffer. And that's what we're going to do for the last... Um, three minutes or so of this video sausage stuffer stocking stuffer men stocking stuffer ideas I have no idea what a sausage stuffer is. I guess you make your own sausages, which I guess you fill in that little plastic thingamajigger that uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's a real funny name for it, right balloon stuffer balloon stuffer stocking stuffer for men stocking stuffer ideas women stocking stuffer There's again the good old sausage stuffer the meat stuffer the Harry Potter stocking stuffer the stocking stuffer for kids, stocking stuffer gifts, one-year-old stocking stuffer ideas. I mean, the list goes on and on. There's one for toddler. There's a cone stuffer, which I have no freaking idea what the hell a cone stuffer is. An olive stuffer, no idea what some of these things are. But in between all these meat stuffers and olive stuffers, we can clearly see that there are a number of really solid keywords for our book campaigns, our t-shirts, anything. And you know what? They're in really good numbers. Like 1.6 million is not going to be so incredibly competitive that it's going to be impossible to rank for it. It's very possible that you could rank for this just with the sheer number of keywords that you put. If you focus everything around this, there's a good chance that you will rank. So that's the tremendous thing about some of these Weston sausage stuff, or I guess that's the brand name, but I'm going to try to just slowly cover all 87 and then we'll call it a video. But here's a stocking stuffer for husband, kids stocking stuffer ideas, two year old stocking stuffer ideas, adult stocking stuffer ideas. Look at this one. This is ridiculous. Let's just bring this one right up. Like what the hell is this? Like one person must have searched this and this pops up all this crap. Uh, that just popped up so something like that i would never put on my listing it would be ridiculous but anything around that like stocking stuff for packs or something for kids but would be uh, let's do it but you could clearly see here that now we've got brand analytics going to all the way on as high up as almost 2.1 million which is awesome but other than that that was short that was sweet i just wanted to get to the point it's raw it's unedited it's all the random stuff that i say that is uh surely not intentional it's almost accidental what comes out of my mouth during these keyword reviews but let me know below if you guys are interested again in knowing what your competitors back end keywords are below and as well as maybe you want some of these lists like i might just include these lists as a bonus the stuffers the stuffers not the sausage ones the stocking one and the gift ones i would include that as a bonus um, if you were interested in that so let me know below as well as questions comments and or if you do want me to do that second gifting one let me know in the comments and I'll be more than happy to provide that. But other than that, see you guys next time.